Good to come your way with another edition of the BNFC Digest, your weekly source of authentic business updates. My name is Lily Pearl Baba Otu. Let's move to the headline. Crude revenue has dropped by 5% despite a 15% increase in production of 2019. New companies act to halt fronting in fishing sector, but players say proper enforcement is crucial to achieving success. And some good news for the banking sector as data from the central bank show that COVID-19 has spurred the use of mobile banking and the TUC has urged government to borrow from the Heritage Fund if necessary to keep the country going. Details of these are coming up shortly. Please stay. Although crude production in 2019 went up by 15% from 63,000 barrels in 2018 to 71,000 barrels in 2019, revenue accrued to the Petroleum Holding Fund dropped by some 5% within the same period. The revenue went down to $925 million in 2019 and $977 million in 2018 from royalties, carriage and participating interest, corporate income taxes, surface rentals and income earned. This figure represents a 5% drop according to PIAC's 2019 annual report. The drop in revenue, despite the increased production, was due to lower prices. A legal analysis has confirmed that if properly enforced, Ghana's new 2019 Companies Act will make it more difficult for Chinese fishing corporations to illegally use Ghanaian front companies to obtain local licenses. The law has been tightly designed to improve transparency in company ownership and reveals any vested interest. The Act requires clear identification of beneficial owners, that is, those that take home the profits. It is believed that this would be a game changer only if it is enforced to the latter. The Environmental Justice Foundation, which commissioned the analysis, said the law offers a great opportunity to save the fisheries sector from abuse by foreigners. And as you may well know, many customers of financial institutions, especially the literate class, have resorted to mobile banking for their money transactions, the same system that the industry has long struggled to convince consumers of its efficiency, safety and comfort in using it. But now banks may not have to do much talking to convince their customers to use their mobile banking platforms for business transactions. The coronavirus pandemic has successfully done that. The banking sector report for May 2020 shows that net fees and commissions grew strongly at 16% in March 2020 from 3.6% the same period last year. A feat the Bank of Ghana attributes to increase usage of electronic banking services amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's stay a bit more with the central bank because in spite of the negative impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the country's local currency, the Bank of Ghana says it expects the city to gain stability as pressure on it has started easing, even though it's recorded its highest depreciation against the US dollar since the beginning of the year. As of the end of April, the city had depreciated by 1.21% against the US dollar, depreciated 1.55% as at the end of May, and further depreciated by 2.38% as of June 29th, its sharpest depreciation in the year using the BOG mid rate figures. This indicates that the currency's bad performance in the second quarter was among the factors largely stirred by the pandemic induced capital flights from the country which put enormous pressure on the CD. And we end on the labor front as the Trade Unions Congress has said that government should tap into the Ghana Heritage Fund if the going gets very tough, arguing that it is a better option than borrowing from other sources under the current coronavirus-induced economic crisis. Ghana's GDP growth, which was projected at 6.8%, prior to the pandemic has been revised downward to 1.5%. The TUC has estimated 18 billion Ghana cedars is required to adequately offset the loss in the productive sector.
And that's it on the BNFT Digest. Don't forget to grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper or visit us at thebftonline.com for more stories. You can also subscribe to our digital version by visiting our website, clicking on the subscribe button, and an attendant will get back to you shortly. Follow us on all our social media platforms. My name is Lili Pelbaba Otu. Have a lovely weekend.